all right hello guys you are welcome to simplified mathematics this is a free online mathematics tutor where you learn the basics of mathematics and upgrade your math skills if you are coming to this channel for the first time kindly subscribe for subsequent videos also remember to hit the notification bell if you are watching from a facebook please do so by liking and uh, following the page so that you can have access to subsequent videos easily and also share this video if you have found value from it today we'll be looking at indices indices now let us consider this expression we have he times he times he he multiplying is seven three places a times he times he can also be written as a raised to power 3. This is an indicial expression. Let me rewrite like this. a raised to power 3. This a here is known as the base. The 3, which is at the top, is known as the power. You can call it the exponent. And you can also call it the index. So the he is the base, the one at the top, which is this three, is known as the power, the exponent, and also as the index. This is an indicial expression. Now, for you to solve problems on indices, there are some rules you have to follow. There are some rules you have to understand. And these are the things I'm going to teach you now. Let's go to the first law. The first law of indices goes thus a raised to power m times he raised to power n. The law says if they are of common base and the operation is multiplication, you choose a base and you had the power m plus n. This is the law. We have the common base which is the same here as the base, so you choose one. And the operation between these two expressions is multiplication. So you had the powers together. So that is the first law. For example, we have a 2 raised to power 3 times 2 raised to power 2. Now, based on this first law, we have a common base, which is 2. You choose 1. Then, because the operation between them is multiplication, so you had the powers together. So we have 3 plus 2. 3 plus 2 will give us 5. So we have 2 raised to power 5. No more, no less. Now there is another way you can solve this problem so which is also very easy. Now 2 raised to power 3 means 2 multiplying itself in 3 places. So we have 2 times 2 times 2 times which is at the center 2 raised to power 2 means 2 multiplying itself in two places so we have 2 times 2 so how many twos do we have together multiplying each other we have 1 2 3 4 5 therefore we have 2 raised to power 5 no more no less that is the first law of indices now let's look at the second law law number 2 we have here so we have a raised to power m divided by a raised to power n so the law says since they are of common base so we have a and because the operation between these two expressions is division so the powers will be subtracted so we have m minus n that is what the law says for example, we have a 3 raised to power 4 divided by 3 raised to power 2. Based on this law, definitely we have a common base. You select one, 3. So we have 4 minus uh, 2. So 4 minus 2 is 2. So we have 3 raised to power 2. No more, no less. Now, there is another way you can solve it just like the first law. We have um, 
3 raised to power 4 means 3 multiplying itself in 4 places we have 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 divide division has to come in so 3 raised to power 2 means 3 multiplying itself in 2 places 3 times 3 so 3 divided by 3 3 divided by 3 how many 3's do we have 1 2 so we have 3 raised to power 2 no more no less you can see the same thing and we have the same thing here so this is the first two laws of indices let's go to the third law law number three goes thus a raised to power m into bracket okay and raised to another power so a is raised to power m you open a bracket and close it and then it is raised to another power which is n so this law says power will multiply the power okay because this a raised to power m is enclosed in a bracket and it is raised to another power so the powers will multiply each other therefore we have a raised to power m times n for example we have m um, 3 raised to power 2 into bracket and raised to power 3 what do we have? We have 2 raised to power 2 times 3. 2 times 3 will give us what? 6. So 3 raised to power 6, no more, no less. Now, the third law, the fourth law rather, is that, for example, if we have um, the, if we have a raised to power m divided by a raised to power m again, when an initial expression divides it itself an initial expression with the same value divides itself so what do we have we have a raised to power m minus m you remember the law the first law uh, the second law whenever there is division the powers we subtract each other so m minus m is zero a raised to power zero a which is equals to one a raised to power zero equals to one so that is the implication therefore any number raised to power zero equals one any number raised to power zero equals one for example we have five raised to power zero is one 3 raised to power 0 is 1. 100 raised to power 0 equals to 1. This is where we are going to stop today. We have about 3 more laws to go under the laws of indices. If you are watching us for the first time, kindly subscribe to this channel and hit the notific notification bell. If you are watching from Facebook, kindly like and follow us. And also share this video so that others can learn. Share with your students, share with your colleagues, and share with everybody around. Thank you. Bye-bye.